Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to continue with SQL and aggregate functions, but this time we are going to learn more about group by. The hardest part about group by is really to know when to use it. You can look at the question and see that it often asks you to calculate uh, using an aggregate function, like average in this case, per grade or for each grade. You'll also see in the output that you are displaying a field with an aggregate function. Now then, that's your cue to know I need to use a group by. So let's say we are calculating the average per grade and we want to display the grade, so 10, 11 and 12, calculate the percentage with a heading average from the table learners, I have to group by the field that I'm displaying. So you'll see at the end after the from goes group, space by, and then that field that I was displaying in my select. Now, if I run this SQL statement now, without the rest added, it will sort the table what I see according to the grade from lowest to highest. So if I'd like to sort it in any other way, like for example in this case we are sorting it according to the average, we have to add an order by at the end. And for aggregate functions I can use the field number, so it's field 1, 2, I want to sort according to the average. And I'm going to send it in, sort it in ascending order because I haven't added the DSC and remember order by sorts in ascending order by default. Here's another example. Let's say I had to calculate the total amount paid per grade or for each grade, but only for the learners in class C. So I'm displaying the grade, I'm adding up what they've paid, displaying the heading total from a table called users, but it's only adding up for the records where the class fields value was C. And remember now that I have a, a select where I'm displaying a field with an aggregate function, I need to group by this grade here. So that's why I'm saying at the end group by grade. So I have a mnemonic to tr help you remember the order in which you put your SQL statements in. It's very important you can't swap them around, you can't have them in the incorrect order. So my mnemonic goes similar, friends, will, so if you have a where that comes after from, go for group by, hang is what we'll do next, that's the having, and then hang out, the out stands for order by. So if we take this example here, similar, friends, will, go, hang, which we haven't done. And if I had to add an order by, it must go at the end. Now is your time to practice. We are still in the festival program under aggregate functions. And here are some activities for you to try out. Here are two more. So press pause and try it yourself. Here is the menu per company. I'm displaying a field, counting them. So I have a field and an aggregate function. So therefore I need to add group by, and I'm grouping by the company ID that is the same field that I listed here. I was also asked to sort these tables or records according to the counter in ascending order and therefore I added an order by here at the end, order by 2. It's the second field listed here. So now we get to having and this is an example of showing each grade, calculating the average per grade, therefore I need my group by, but I only want to see those grades whose average was less than 50. And then instead of using our where, we are going to use a having because we have the group by and we want to query the average, the aggregate function. So I just repeat my aggregate function here and less than equal to my operator and then a value. 
So now I can come to my mnemonic and this is our structure for our sequel. It always has to be in this order. So there's my mnemonic. Similar friends will go hang out and you can leave some of them out but they still have to be in the same order. Remember we can't leave out select and from that will always be there. Um, if you have a where and an order by it has to be where first and order by last. Without the where and maybe with a group by and a having, we'll have to have select from group by having. Or you could have all of them. Just make sure they're in the correct order. Here is your time to practice. So we continue in the festival program under the main menu aggregate functions. And here's the first two activities. And here is the last activity using having. Press pause and try it yourself. Here is the answer to the average per ID menu. I'm displaying the company ID. I'm calculating the average cost, displaying it as a currency. And I'm grouping by the field that I have in my select with my aggregate function. But then I was asked further to only show those where the average renting cost was a value from 1,500 to 2,500. And therefore I had to add the having after the group by. Great 12s, I hope this helped you and that I'll see you soon. Next we're going to learn how to read from both tables with one SQL statement. Hope to see you soon.